to Factory 85 Labs. When you were young, did you have a doorway or a door jam, a spot where your parents would have you stand against the wall and they would mark how tall you were every once in a while? Well, I did. Uh, we had a doorway where my brothers and I, and my sisters too, I guess, would stand and, you know, my mom would measure how tall we were. So I was thinking to myself, I'm going to make a little measuring board that I can put on the wall where I can mark how tall my kids are. It's a very simple project uh, and it's probably not terribly exciting to anyone who doesn't care how tall they are or who doesn't have kids. This is just a six foot piece of four inch pine. It's very cheap and I have sanded this really smooth. Now I'm going to get some measurements drawn on here, get some numbers written out how I like them, and get the wood burner and start burning some things. So I cut this six feet long, uh, but I made it so that when you put it on the wall, the bottom of it will be six inches above the floor. Some of the baseboards in our house now have our six inch baseboards along some of the walls. So I wanted to be able to put this on the wall above the baseboard and not have to worry about it interfering at all. And then wherever we end up moving it to, you just measure up six inches from the floor and mount it on the wall. So I've got all of the wood burning, some little pictures in there and got all the numbers on. I sanded the surface here again, uh, just to clean up all the edges and get rid of any pencil marks that were left. And now I'm going to drill a few holes, um, countersunk holes, just to mount this on the wall, wherever it might be. And then I'm going to finish it with some semi-transparent white um, finish. Uh, I tried a few different types of finishes on this wood just to see which one I thought looked nicest and also which one was easiest to write on. I'll let it set out here in the ridiculous heat overnight. Pretty simple. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I really like it. My wood burning turned out way better than I expected, but we're not quite done yet. Did you ever try to be just a little bit taller? You're measuring your own height, you, you kind of slide the pencil or the pen on your head and it, it just sort of happens to go up at an angle like that and you magically get an inch taller. But when you're measuring your brother, it just sort of goes the other way and he ends up way shorter than he was six months ago. It's weird. But then I was thinking, why hasn't somebody just made a pencil that has a level in it? Like that would solve a whole lot of these problems. I'm going to use these construction pencils because they're flat and kind of wide. I think they'll work really well as a way to measure someone's height. And then I'm using this little string level. This is just a little short uh, spirit level. I'm not sure how well this is going to work. Uh, these pencils might be a little too fragile. It might just break apart, but we're going to give it a shot. So let's see how this goes.
All right, folks, so that's it. That was a pretty simple project. It's probably not something that everyone's going to want to build, but it is something that I've been wanting to build for a while. I am especially happy with my pencil, uh, my level pencil. I don't know why nobody's thought of this and, and made these and sold them before. Or maybe they did and nobody bought them. I don't know, maybe I'm the only person in the world who needs this. You guys let me know, is this uh, a brilliant idea or, or not? Also, leave me a comment and let me know if you ever fought with your siblings over who is the tallest, or if you didn't have siblings, uh, is that just something that siblings do? If you enjoyed this video, you can hit the thumbs up button, or if you're watching this on Rumble, the Rumble button. I don't know, I still haven't figured out Rumble. If you'd like to subscribe to this channel, you can click the subscribe button or not. That's up to you. Whether you do or not, I still appreciate you, and I will see you next time.